Hey YouTube, welcome back to my food channel. Today we're going to have frozen nuggets. I don't know if you know my lazy meal series. You can check it right here, all the playlist of lazy meals that I had. It's like frozen stuff and pre-made stuff. Try it. On today's video, I'm going to try two kinds of nuggets. The both are from Etika. They both cost the same. This is one eighty-nine. This is one ninety-nine. This one I took because it's the first thing that I saw, and I was like, "Hmm, interesting." And then I saw some other stuff. So I asked my followers on Twitter what would they prefer to see, and they actually chose this one. So one is like my choice, and one is my followers' choice. I'm going to review both and say what I prefer. This one I need to bake on two hundred degrees, sixteen minutes. I think I'll make both in the oven because it's just easier. And this one is just nine minutes. I already heated the oven to 200 degrees. See you in a bit. Okay, I don't know what I think about that. Bye. Dinner is served and it's 11 something at night. Actually, it smells good. I have a glass of Coke. Oh, I have this for comparison, look. This is how it's supposed to be, the cheese, and it's the white ones. This is not as similar. This is more similar, isn't it? So I have the barbecue, I have the mayonnaise, and I have ketchup. So we'll start with the cheese. Kind of sticking to the plate. <laughs> mm, very melty, cheesy, yummy. You do feel the jalapenos, the peppers inside, they are spicy. Works really well with the texture of the melting cheese. I think you should wait around 10 minutes after it comes out of the oven to eat it. Mm, this is very nice. Mm, smells quite good. Ow, this is hot. Mm. This is actually quite weird texture because the inside is really soft because of the pulled pork and I don't know, it's like being made with, with what? Schweinefleisch, flüssig, gewürzt, gegart, zerkleinert, mit barbecue sauce mariniert, geformt, paniert, frittiert, mit separaten barbecue dip tief gefroren. So what I understand from this is that it's seasoned. It is marinated with barbecue sauce inside. So this is why it's, it's so soft. I'm going to try it with the barbecue now. It is sweet, but it really works well with the pork. That's a nice meal, actually. I like it. If I had some fries or, or potato wedges on the side, it would be awesome. So I'm going to try also this one with the barbecue sauce. I think it will be weird. I really like the texture of the inside of the cheese. So gooey. But it doesn't work with the barbecue. This thing is just weird. It looks like a plain nugget, but then you bite into it and it's this thing. It's not bad, it's just weird. It also feels like a bit spicy. Ah, I love Coke. How bad could it be? I think the barbecue complements better the pork. I'm going to try barbecue and mayonnaise. It makes the barbecue more subtle the mayonnaise. It makes it like a bit less sweet, but still sweet enough. Now all we have left is ketchup. Mm, I don't like it. Mmm, yeah, the cheese is great. Yeah, definitely need a sweet drink. It's kind of feeling. I thought it won't be enough, but it's definitely enough. <laughs> I'm going to try the cheese with the mayonnaise. Oh my god, when I think about it, it sounds gross. Uh, almost the same, right? It actually is nice. I mean, it smells good. Um, Zubereitung. It says cheddar water stabilizes and smells out. Abucha. Oh. Ah, okay, so it's like, how do you call this sauce? How do you call this sauce? The white sauce, bechamel. Maybe it's like this. There is 5% green chili, that's all. But it's spicy, not bad. This one is very heavy. It's like, oh my god, oh my god. With the sauce, it becomes nicer. I think you shouldn't fry pulled pork. You just need to use it as a pulled pork, that's it. So without the sauce is quite heavy. And really it is better. And the cheese. I have to say thank you to my Twitter followers for making me choose this because this one is definitely better than the pulled pork. It's a great snack. It's just weird. It's weird but it's still tasty. But it's like you tell yourself, but why is it fried? Barbecue is nice. 
Now I want a pulled pork sandwich, not this thing, so full. Last one. God, I want to die. I feel like I need to bite into a lettuce head. Because this is so heavy. So this was a nice experience that I will never do again. <laughs> I don't know in what situation I'm going to eat this. This is like extremely heavy. I just want to never eat this again. I do prefer the cheese one. If I was Gordon, I'd give the cheese nuggets four out of five. Yeah, they're pretty good for a frozen food. And for the pulled pork, this one I'm going to give like two and a half, two and a half. Something in the middle. It's not bad. It's just weird. It's nice. It tastes nice, but just a little bit weird the texture is weird and what you expect to have and what you actually get the difference between the two it's like ugh, what but it doesn't taste bad it's nice you can eat it just when <laughs> I don't know, I don't feel like it's like chicken nuggets. They actually sell it like ideal zum snacken. Snacken? I guess you understand it's ideal for snacking. I don't know, I, I don't feel like it's a, it's a nice snack. I mean, maybe if you're like five people and you share it and you have some other stuff on the table, but just to like snack on it, no, <laughs> seriously, way too heavy. It's weird. It's, it's probably better on the pen, but it also takes like more energy it just made me want to make pulled pork and make a pulled pork sandwich out of it out of it out of it out of it <laughs> and not to eat shit that i find on the frozen section in the supermarket if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss any video and if you want to support my channel you are welcome to do so on my coffee page i'm going to link it right in the description box below i'll see you in the next video Thank you.